It's been a tumultuous time for our immigrant communities. Our communities feel under attack, so they feel a target on their back. My parents came here from Mexico many years ago with an elementary school education. They had five children. All of their children have gone on to college. Thinking about those roots helps me maintain my sanity at this moment that, you know, in spite of all the struggles that families like my family have gone through, they are, they are creating an abundance of positivity in this community. So Siren has been around for 30 years providing immigrant and refugee rights. We provide free legal services, policy advocacy, local, state, and federal, and we do community organizing with youth and adults. Whether you're a citizen or not, you have basic constitutional rights. Sometimes when they are not aware of those rights, it creates a faster deportation process for them. And so we want to make sure that they know how to protect themselves. After the election, many communities were feeling very stressed. That Thursday of the election, we had probably 100 people lying outside our door. People felt like they had nowhere else to go, but they came to Siren. And so at that moment, it was clear to us that we were probably one of the safe havens for that community, and we needed to do more to protect them. This moment calls for us to step up as immigrant rights activists. And there's a space for everyone in the movement. There's room for people to donate. There's room for people to volunteer. There are moments where you feel like there is no answers and you don't know what to do. But I think deep in my soul, I know that people that have been in positions like mine have gone through moments like this. And so I find solace in the fact that Siren was created exactly for this moment.